I'm pleased to welcome Dr. Rashida Mengi from Highland Family Medicine back to the program. Great to see you, Doctor. Thank you. Great to be here. A new school year underway A for new many. School year. Getting underway mm -hmm. this week. We are talking about the healthy student. Great topic for this week. How are health and academics uh, connected, related, if you will? So, uh, healthy children are better learners. A child's school performance is not solely reliant on um, their intelligence or their background. Their health also takes um, a huge part of their ability to learn. It's a huge role in their ability to learn. So we recommend early on um, that children develop these healthy habits so that they can reach their full academic potential. Moms and dads watching, what can parents do to help, uh, help this along, nurture a child this way? So some good habits um, that children should have, especially in school, um, good hand washing habits. Mm -hmm. um, they should get a good night's sleep every night. Avoid um, sharing utensils, cups, water bottles with their friends, and also being sure to cover their mouth whenever they um, cough or sneeze. And the way to do that is how? This, this. You do it this way Into the because arm. right because with the hands we use them so much we can spread germs that way. Let's talk about diet and the importance of a healthy diet on performance for a youngster. So students with a healthy diet really do better in school. Uh, all children should have five servings of fruits and vegetables uh, per day. Breakfast is also important in that it helps with um, focus and concentration. Other good benefits of a healthy diet um, include less absences, less tardiness, um, and improved uh, or higher standardized test scores and better grades. You know, we think about pencils and paper, but uh, part of the recipe for a successful student is to get exercise as well, right? Correct, correct. Exercise is good for all of us. Yeah, right. Um, exercise actually um, helps with, with memory and attention, so it's really good for learners. So we recommend that all children take part in some kind of physical activity uh, for at least um, one hour per day, most days of the week, to really get that brain, that brain working. All right. Uh, our time is short. We'll leave it there, as always, Doctor. Okay. Thank you. As Thank we, you. Uh, uh, get students ready for a healthy and successful school year this week. Uh, more information online. The CDC has a great link. We'll be sharing that as well on our site. You'll find it at rochesterfirst.com.